Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? It's Angie the Craft NATO and I'm here with an unbagging and this is a little bit exciting for me. Um, today's unbagging comes to us from one of my very favorite budget-friendly websites, um, Everyday eCrafts, and I was contacted by them um, and asked if I would like to, if they could send me some products for me to show on my channel. And I said, of course, I would love to because, like I mentioned, they're one of my very favorite budget-friendly places. So let's get right into it. I'm going to save, we'll start with the smaller ones. There's a few smaller ones and a couple of larger ones. So let's just get to a small one. I had to open one to see who this order came from. We've got five things in here, so this shouldn't take us but a hot minute. And let's take a look at what I ordered. So I ordered a few things. Um, I tried to get a little bit of a variety of things. This first one is a partial, and it is not a special drill partial. It is um, just a regular, um, regular drill, resin drill partial, and it is just of this cute little girl sitting with a beautiful flowery dress, um, blowing bubbles, and being surrounded by butterflies. So the only thing that, and I'm thinking this is probably like a 25 by, it, it's definitely not a 30 by 40. Let's measure it. Let's see what it is. Cause I'm thinking it's probably like a 25 by something. So that's the inches side. So that's not gonna do us any good. No, nope, that's the inches side. What am I looking at then? There we go. Yeah, 28 that way by 19 so 19 by 28 so 20 by 20 20 by 30 so it's probably 25 by 35 is probably the canvas size and the the, the actual picture area was the 19 by uh 28 did i say yeah so the only part that you're going to actually drill on this is the girl which is just an out or just a shadow figure of a girl and her dress with the flowers. And I thought that this would be a really cute little painting um, to put up in my granddaughter's room. Um, and I thought that my daughter would and her would really like it. So that's why I chose this one. And the drill colors, let's take a look at them. And it comes just with a standard tool kit with a wax, a boat, and a diamond painting pen. So if you've never diamond painted before, that's all you really need. This is a nice soft canvas. It's going to flatten out easily. Um, but of course, right now for me, it's it's not wanting to lie flat for us. That's okay. You've, you've seen it. You get the picture. So we've got 14 colors on this. And all of the, the key is made up of uh, just letters and numbers, which is what I prefer it I, I don't know I just find it easier than all the symbols so we have yellow black gray lavender green more yellow couple colors of pink another green and uh oh looks like oh I think that's intentionally empty because let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yes yeah, so we have all fourteen colors that was just an empty bag at the end there. It was labeled zero, so I don't think it was supposed to be anything. Uh, so more pink, orange, couple colors, blue, and white. So very few drills, not very many drills at all. This would be something that would work up really quick. It might be a good um, idea for someone who is new to diamond painting and isn't sure that they're going to like it. This kind of thing would be perfect for them to give it a try. And I just thought it was cute and simple, and sometimes uh, cute and simple is good. So that is the first thing that I picked out. And let's see the next thing. Let me throw that off to the side so I don't get it. That opened easily. I don't have my scissors of death in here. Uh, Jeff stole my scissors of death. This one is in another package, so let's get that open. And let me get it out of there. This one looks like it's also a partial, but I'm thinking this is a special drill. And it's just very simple butterfly. 
It's also not very big. It's a you know fairly small one, um, and it does not have a lot of area to be drilled. So this would be another real easy one for someone who was just starting out or just wanted to give diamond painting a try without making a big investment. Um, also just comes with a standard tool kit and it is special. It looks like it's a combination of special drills and regular resin drills. So let's take a look at them. And when I say special drills, I guess all I mean is uh, rhinestones. So we just have rhinestones and then the um, black resin is going to go entirely in the outline of the butterfly. Then we have clear, yellow, red, light green, lavender, and blue. And these are really, really good looking rhinestones too. Nice and shimmery and shiny. Um, so the quality of them is really good. Um, not much there to do. But again, if you just want a little project to, um, to work up real fast and you don't want to be laden down with a big project, this would be something that would be uh, good to have just lying around in your stash. Uh, seven colors, and it's just numbered one through seven for the symbols, so easy peasy, easy to work up, and it will look cute. It will look great in my scrapbook when it's finished. Boy, these are really easy to open today, so I didn't need my scissors of death. So let's get to the next one, and it looks like this is another partial. I'm thinking this is a special drill. I'm hoping. Oh, yes. Boy, this is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. It's really small. 25 by 25 centimeters and that's going to be the whole canvas size so you're probably looking at like 20 by 20 for the image size and it is in the description of this it said luminous so I was under I am under the impression and now that I look at the key um, the DMC codes for a couple of colors are an E number so I was under the impression that that would mean that they were glow in the dark we're going to look and see if we can figure that out um, this toolkit does have a pair of tweezers in it, uh, probably because it's a special drill. Some of them do and some of them don't. I think it all just depends on the manufacturer because these places get their diamond paintings from a variety of manufacturers. So let's see what we've got. And this one is very simple color-wise. Um, no, the E does not, the E has the red, so that's interesting. By luminous, I thought that that meant that we were going to have some glow-in-the-dark drills, but I guess not. Maybe by luminous, they just mean that these, because these are um, rhinestones. I'm not sure, or maybe they are glow-in-the-dark. I've never heard of glow-in-the-dark rhinestones, have you? Has anyone out there heard of glow-in-the-dark rhinestones? I'm going to work this one up real quick because it wouldn't take but a few minutes and I will let you guys know um, in a subsequent video, but we just have a whole bunch of clear rhinestones, some bigger clear, some even bigger clear, and then we've got two sizes of red. And it's just a very simple red heart with the beautiful love doves um, flying in between it. And this one is definitely going to be um, going into my scrapbook with all of my other special drills. I really like this. I think it's so pretty. Maybe I'll even get a small frame for it and hang it out during Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day. But that is the third one that I picked out. And so now I've got a couple of larger ones. And let's see what else I got. Because I don't entirely remember. So you'll be surprised this with me. I'm really impressed with my skills here of getting these open today. Usually it's not that easy. All right, this one seems pretty big. Yeah, this one is bigger than bigger than average. This one is a full drill. And it is a 40 by 40 centimeter round drill canvas. And it is a full. So let's roll it backwards so we can get it to lie flat. And this is an image that I have looked at 
um, or I've looked at images like this several, several times on other sites. And I have not pulled the trigger because most of the time this image is just full to the brim of detail. Um, I really liked this antique sewing machine. I like the image of it and it's an antique sewing machine with the um, old-fashioned wallpaper background sitting next to the window and it's very cute because it has these birds sitting on it. Now when I've seen an image like this in the past, I've always seen it with just so much busyness and so much other stuff and it's like a picture of a big, not a big room, but of like a craft room and there's so much going on. And I just didn't think that in the size that it was offered that that amount of detail was going to show up. But when I saw this one and I saw that it was a 40 by 40 centimeter and also that it's just the simple image of the sewing machine and the birds and the background, I thought that this would definitely be something that's going to show up well when it's worked up. So it does just come with the standard toolkit. And Pam, I have not forgotten about you with your toolkits. I just have not had a chance to round them all up, pack them up, and go to the post office. Um, but I will take care of that soon, hopefully this week. Uh, let's take a look at our drills that come with this. There are 25 colors. So that's quite a good number of colors um, to come with something like this. So. That should help lend to some uh, extra clarity as well, um, the fact that you have 25 colors. So mostly just going to be, um, we've got some light, light purple, brown, beige, white, and a, like, a, well, like an off-white. Then we have... dark burgundy, a few different colors of gray, a sageish green, a brick color, two colors of tan, a dark brown, another tan, another dark brown, a peach, more gray, more brown, light pink, like a blush, brown, brown, mustard, yellow, and what I think is probably 3860 or 38, yeah, but it's 3860. And these, I like these drill packages. These are the drill packages that have the DMC codes right on the drill packages. So you have your DMC codes on your canvas, of course, but then you also have the DMC codes on the drill canvases. I don't know why I like it. I mean, I suppose it doesn't make that much of a difference, but Sometimes when you're kidding up, it's nice to reassure yourself without having to look at the canvas that you're working with the right drill color. So there's that, just because I'm always second guessing myself, it seems like I'm always making a mistake. And so that is that first full drill canvas that I picked out. And it is, um, the drill field is very clear. I don't think I'll have any problems seeing any of the, um, Seeing any of the symbols at all and the um, key is all in letters and numbers so that is wonderful for me as well it just is that much easier for my feeble little mind to grasp when I don't have to talk myself into symbols I don't know is anyone else like that that they prefer symbol or letters and numbers to symbols I just always have I, I mean, it, it's not a deal breaker, of course, because I most of the diamond paintings that I do are laden with symbols. But, um, yeah, I like it when there's just letters and numbers. It makes it easier. And it is nice and sticky, so the canvas is sticky. This is a little bit stiffer of a canvas, but um, lying flat under something heavy for a little while and pulling this uh, release paper back and putting it back down to relax it against the canvas is going to do wonders and by the time you're ready to work on it you know give it a couple days maybe and it will be good to go so that is the fourth canvas that i had picked out and let's go ahead and see what the last one is and am i going to have that one wasn't even fastened i'm having really good luck with these today that glue wasn't in there at all, so I did not need the scissors of doom. 
Okay, or the scissors of death, rather. So this one is another full drill canvas. This one is a square drill, and this canvas is super, super stiff. I'm going to have a hard time rolling it backwards just because it is so stiff. Hold on just one second. Thank you. I appreciate your patience. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I actually, I know you guys have been seeing videos from me. I haven't made any in a while. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit rusty. What I've been posting have been videos that I've had um, that I just hadn't had a chance to post yet. So this is another 40 by 40 centimeter and this is, of course, I'm sure you will recognize, is going to be one that I'm doing for Nate. Um, standard toolkit. And, of course, everybody knows, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that Nate loves everything ships and pirates. So this is a really cool image of a sailing ship. I'm going to call it a pirate ship because I think it looks like a pirate ship. <laughs> An old sailing ship. Um, and on the background of a world map, or a partial world map. Um, and I absolutely thought that he would really like this in his room. I'll put it up next to Cloud Runner he has up there, and, um, oh, what's the big one with the undersea ship from Craftably? I can't remember what it's called. Sunset Crossing, I think it is. Um... But I thought that he would like this one as well. So this one comes with 28 colors. So that's quite a lot of colors uh, for a 40 by 40 centimeter. And it is, again, oh, we do have one symbol in there, the triangle symbol. Other than that, it's all letters and numbers. So again, that's just the way I like them. And these drills come in probably my favorite budget-friendly drill packaging type. And that is the um, packaging that has the word diamonds in the crosshatch um, written on them. I find that in my experience, and I know that everybody has different experiences, but I can only go on what I, the experiences that I have personally had. In my personal experience, these have always been really good drills, um, and especially for a square. So we have that beautiful Kelly green, a darker green, a light brown, a medium brown, a bunch of beige, so that's going to be all of our background of our map, although that's not all one color. There is a lot of confetti in this. This is not, um, it's definitely not going to be um, color blocking at all. I'll just bring it up so you can see the drill field. The drill field is nice and clear, um, but there is a lot of confetti in there. So we have three big bags of that beige color, more brown, more beige, this beautiful color green. And see, this is a little bit, I'm glad to see this. The color that's here on the canvas is kind of more of a Kelly green color, but this color that the C is in real life, the actual colors of the drills, is much more of a C green. And so I'm really happy to see that that's not the exact color that's going to be um, you know, on the, on the diamond painting itself. It's a really, really pretty green. So then we have some more greens, some seafoam green, dark, dark green, light lavender, some mustard, some brown, more green, and peach. And did I tell you guys these ones? I'm not sure if I did or not. Just whites, browns, a little bit of uh, peach, some more mustard and yellow, some teal, some beige, some black, and some more olive, like an olive drab green. So it's going to be like a kind of a, oh, what do I want to say, like a oldie timey looking feel to it. Even though it looks really bright right now, it kind of has more of an antique -y look to it. Um, if you if you go by the drill colors themselves. So I want to say thank you to Everyday E-Crafts for asking me to show their products on my channel. Um, if I, I'm going to put the links to all of these in the description of the video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. 
and I'll do my best to get back with you as soon as I can. And other than that, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and why not subscribe and hang around with me for more unboxings and flipping chats and other such fun stuff. Um, it's great to have you. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.